What's up, guys? Josh here with Deprived Productions, back in Unreal Engine 4. We're starting off a new series today, the UMG series. We're going to make a HUD. We're going to make all kind of HUD stuff, okay? Now, guys, today's tutorial is going to be super, super simple. We're going to overview it. That's why we're going to do back-to-back toots, baby. One today, one tomorrow, or one tomorrow, one today. I don't know, back-to-back, back back, bro. That means we're going to do an easy one, you know, get everybody used to it, and then we'll jump into it. You know I mean? I've got to make sure I cover the basics. Anyway, I got my guy here. What we're trying to do is add something to the screen when we're playing the game. That's what UMG is used for. So I'm inside the DP, and I got my third-person character, Blueprint Class. It's the only thing that's in here because we have to call it inside there, okay? But before we do anything, let's create a, 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 a UMG widget. So right click, go down to user interface, okay? And you're gonna see widget blueprint. That's exactly what you need. I'm gonna name it test underscore and then a big old giant W you know, for widget. And I'm gonna double click on it and boom, this is how it opens it up. Now, inside of this screen is where we're gonna be working. There are a few settings sometimes you will toy with. Like this control panel or this, uh, this canvas panel, you may not need. You can delete it. If you click on it, press delete, it's gone. But in this case, we do. The fill screen is definitely good here. You can obviously go through a few of these settings and we'll talk about those in the future based off what we're doing if we're using little widgets to put inside of a big widget. And then you got a few other things, blah, blah, blah. blah. There's all kind of cool stuff to learn. Let's overview a couple of the important things that we have to know when, when operating UMG with a UE4, and then we'll jump into the fun stuff later. Okay, so the thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just drag something. You have all kind of options here. Extras, input links, and you can actually type what you need. For instance, let's say I want a text. You know what I'm talking about? He's typing a word, you're typing a word, typing a word text, bro. You see text box, text block, text. Let's just grab text and drag it into here. Boom, right, drag it about right there on the bottom. Of the bottom. Imagine this being your screen, right? You got your screen right here. Now there's a couple things you have to do with this text, text block before we do anything. You can affect it, right? It's, if, you, if you have it selected, you can name it, set it to be a variable up here if you want to. But we're gonna make it real simple. We're just gonna, we're gonna click on this. It says it right there. It says what it, what, what, what it says. I'm gonna, put, uh, I'm gonna put the DP, bro, okay? I can size my box up. You can see that those numbers are affecting here. So if I can, I can just change them here and it'll affect the size of the box, the size of whatever, and I'm going to set it right in the middle. Now, there's a couple things I want to do. This is going to be on the bottom of my screen, right? But the thing is, you see this little anchor up here. That's where it's going to pull it based off of the different types of resolutions. So you want to go to the anchor here and set it. We're going to set it to the bottom middle. That's very, very, very important. I'll explain that later. Now we got the DP, okay? No big deal. We can just keep on scrolling down with the DP selected. Got all kind of other details. I'm going to make it kind of blue, bro. Because I get down with the blue. I got, it's bold. You can set a font family. I, I don't have any other fonts, but we'll talk about that later. The font size, 28, right? I can zoom on into it, see what's going on on baby it's big you know what i'm talking about like them big and you, and you can and you can do all kind of cool stuff with it now you got an outline right which is pretty neat you can actually sit here and change the out oh, oh, oh god don't set it too high but one two three you know four five fifty five you'll break it you know what i'm saying but one two looks good you know it's pretty cool and drag your line over make sure it fits inside again we'll talk more about this later i'm just showing you what you can do with text but let's get rid of that and what's even cooler is going down to the shadow collar right we got the shadow collar right here and what i'm gonna do is the problem with it is the opacity is at the the alpha is actually set to zero. So if I set to maybe 0. 0.5, I can see that shatter. I can see that shatter a little now, bro. I can make it maybe like a maybe a, a really uh, a really brightish a really brightish kind of blue color. Yeah, baby, I got a little shatter. You know what I'm talking about? And then I can set it exactly you know exactly where it's going to be inside of whatever how big my box is. The bigger the box, the obviously the more this is going to affect it. But for now, you know, I'm just saying that's what you can do. You can get down. You can still outline it. I'll add an outline on top of that. I don't like it. I'm gonna keep it like that. And what's cool now is I can I, I can be done with it. You know what I'm saying? I got my little DP. I control and save, and I'll move it over here to my second window because you know how we do here in the DP. Now the thing is, I have to go into the third person character and actually turn this thing on, right? Because I mean, if I just F11 all P, bro, ain't nothing going on. You know what I'm talking about? So let's double click. And again, this will work with any character you use. This is just my the third person character out of the starter content. Well, let's type in. Uh, let's type in. Let's let's go to the event begin play right let's grab that bad baby we use that thing all the time and what we'll do is we'll create widget type it in just like that bro to create a widget okay it's gonna ask you which one you know which one the one we created now what do we name that well it's okay because there's only a couple here we named it test w uh, test underscore w now what you could do is just drag a line and type in add to viewport and you're done you know what i'm talking about but what would i'll do after i right click promote to variable i name it uh widget for now that's just my widget and now i have the widget as a variable that's awesome you know what i'm talking about you have it there you can control it's a reference to it if you need to turn it off turn it on change things but from there i can do the same thing 
add to viewport. Just type in the word add and boom. Again, you can do it from here. It's up to you. But I recommend making a variable. Compile, save, back, F11, Alt-P, the DP, brah. You see that DP down there in big old caps? You know what I'm talking about? You make changes, whatever, okay? But it's important. The, 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 the DP is important. Okay, let's, let's, let's get out of there and let's go back into our widget now, okay? You can do you can do more than that, okay? I got my three winners. Okay, you can, you can do more. Let's get rid of the, let's, let's get rid of the, let's get rid of the, uh, the text there. Back up here and type in the word, uh, let's see, type in progress bar. You see progress, a P-R-O, type in pro, a little progress bar, okay? Now think about that, you obviously know what I mean by that, a progress bar. And you can go to the size right here, with, if, you, if you see where you can change it, you can go up here, scroll to the top, the size, right? Set the, set the X to maybe 400. You know what I'm saying? 400, okay? And set this to maybe 30, 35. You know what I'm saying? I got a little, got a little bar right here. Now I want it to be right in the middle, right? Always anchor it. You have to do that. You got to anchor it. I'm serious. And I'll explain that. Now the point is, I got a little progress bar. Like, bro, it just looks like a bar. I'm going to show you why I didn't. I'm going to show you why it ain't just a regular bar. Okay? It's a, it's, a, it's a progress bar. You go down here to percent, scroll down here, and I can set it to 0.5 or 1. So basically, from 0 to 1, you can fill or empty the bar. That's pretty simple. And uh, guys, probably a lot of y'all already know this stuff, but hey, I got to cover it, brah. You got, your, you, got your, you got the collar of your bar, right? The fill and opacity, how you want it. But what's cool is you can set this to just, you set it to whatever, just set it to whatever you want, and then you can affect it up here in the top. But I'll go ahead and leave it to like a, like a let's make a green, okay? I get down on green, and then I could set, if you go back up here to the style, you got your style options, and again, this is all because the progress bar, under, progress bar underscore 104 is selected. I have no idea why it has that number behind it. It doesn't matter, but the point is, under style, you have your background image, you have your fill image, and then you can adjust them here. You can add materials, you can add textures, but for now, I can just go to the background image, go to the tent, and I can set it maybe to the same color green, right? Pretty close, but then take the alpha down to about 0.4. And it's like a translucent, right? I got that translucent background, bro. It's still there, but it's not there. And I can scroll all the way down, okay? There's more visibility options, but also a like an overall opacity, maybe 0.8. You know what I'm saying? Kind of just killing the whole thing just a little bit. 0.8. You know what I'm saying? C c compile, save, go back, F11, Alt-P. That's what I'm talking about. I got a little, a little progress bar down there. Okay, he's green. Stamina, maybe. Depends on which, what, what game you're playing. Okay, MP. I don't know. The point is you got a little bar down there. Pretty sweet, right? Simple. We didn't have to do much to it, okay? And now, now, now there's one more thing I want you to want you to understand. And that's about images. Let's get rid of the progress bar. And let's uh let's 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 type that in. Exactly. And again, you have tons of things. Go check all this stuff out and we'll cover it over time. Um Im let's go to image and we'll grab an image and I'm gonna drag it in there, baby. Now the thing about the image is you may want it to be as perfect square, and you can obviously as it's selected, you're gonna anchor it, bro. Make sure it's where you want it, just kind of for now. We're not trying to be mathematically correct at the moment, but anchor it to the bottom. I'm gonna show you that I'm, I've said that three times, but I'm going to show you. I'm going to set the size to 100 by 100. You know what I'm talking about? Because I got hundies. I got hundies. I got that government money. I don't. I don't have it. But anyway, so like I'm going to scroll over here a little bit, and I got that. So, so, we, so we got an image, and we can add an image. Now, the thing about adding images to this is it needs to be user interface friendly. And what I mean by that is there's options in your materials that will make it prepared for UMG. Now, let's, 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 let's go ahead and jump into that then, okay? I know this isn't a material tutorial, but I don't care. Right-click out here and let's create a material. And we'll name it G, bro, because I'm a real G. I'm a, oh, I'm a real, I'm, an, I'm a, a G. Okay, double-click on that. We got a material here. I'm going to do one very simple thing. I'm going to click on it. If you go down here where you have all your options, your opacity, and your blend mode, your, your, your surface, blah, 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 default lit, unlit, whatever. Surface, you can click on user interface. And you can see now that you have very few options. But it's been, it's meant to be on, it's meant to be more of a HUD-based, non-lit, screen kind of kind of texture or material. Now, I, need, I want the opacity, so I could, I could still change it from opacity to translucent. And it still just keeps those, right? So check it out. Let's, let's make something real quick, real fast, okay? Radial gradient exponential. Grab one of those bad babies. Hold the number one click. Hold the number one click. Plug the top one in the radius, second one into density. Let's set this one to 0.5, okay? And let's set our density to 20. No big deal, right? Pretty cool, right? Let's control C, control V, the entire thing. Do it again. Except I want you to change this to 0.49, okay? Just a, that, but this ball is going to be a little bit smaller than that ball. So what I can do now is I can grab all these bad babies and move them back. Drag a line from here, type in the word subtract, you know what I'm talking about? And subtract the little ball out of the big ball. And what will happen is you'll get, a, you'll, get a, you'll get a ring, right? You'll get a ring because you subtracted the ball from the ball, okay? Nice. You got a little ring there. But the problem is the image is actually black with a white ring. And I can show you that right now. So we got it. We're done. Let's say we're finished. You're just plugged into final collar. We're done. No big deal. We're, 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 we're freaking nasty. And I go over here to my image, 
right? So I go to my G. I got it over here, my, my Winders, because I do different Winders, bro. I got all kind now. I'm getting overwhelmed. Grab G. I got the image selected. I'm pointing at the screen. Y'all can't see that. And I drag it in here. Boom. Looks good, right? Except there's a big black box, okay? That's the problem there. Well, that is where we need to work with the opacity inside of this. Now, if I plug this in here, we're going to have a little bit of a problem. Not a huge problem, but a little one. Kind of grade it out, right? You can, get, you, can get, you can get down with that. Unplug that. Type in, type in the word power and get that power, okay? You should have all of it. Now, we're going to plug it into both of these right here, okay? It's, it's, it's typically set to the number two. Uh, it's doing the opposite of what I want it to do. I'm going to set it to 0.5, okay? That's not, that's not too bad. I'll go down to 0.3 because I'm not afraid. And I like that. I like that brightness there. I got the opacity plugged in, though, which means anything that's black actually won't be there. So now that it's saved, I go back here to my widget. And boom, we got a ring in there, bro. Okay? I got a ring. I can make it big. I can make it, I can make it real big and set it to 200 by 200 or something like that. And I, and I, can, add, I can add another one. Okay? And I can set it to 200 by 200 because I'm not scared. I, I can go here magnify glass this material go back then i can just hit the little arrow boom baby now i got balls now i have two of them though not 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 not, not just one of them we'll put them closer together because that's typically how that works and eh, it doesn't have to be perfect okay but we got these two balls but look at that anchor bra look at the anchor i'm gonna go ahead and set it to the bottom you know what i'm saying so now if i go out control compile all p i got balls you know and, and they're on the screen and that's where i want them that's where that's where everybody should be now, the thing is, we're going to do one more thing. I want to explain that anchor thing to you. Let's say we're, we, we, we got stuff going on here, brah. We got these, we got these, we got, we, we got these balls. I go to text, right? I, not test. I type in text. Okay, I'm going to grab a little text in here. I'm going to drag it down below that, okay? It's just right here. It's going to say, it's going to say, uh, the, the, the DP, okay? Because that's what that is. And I'm just going to put it right here in the middle. Boom, there it is. That's fine. So we have that going on. And again, Set the anchor, scroll to the top, set the anchor to the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's in the middle there. You know what I'm saying? Kind of the best you can. Uh, and we'll add one more thing. We'll add the progress bar that we just that we just talked about. We'll set it to this maybe 400 by 20. Boom, we got him in here. We're gonna set it to about 0.5, bro, on the percent. And we got ourselves a little, we got ourselves a little, wait, wait, wait. Anchor it, bro. Anchor it. I'm gonna show you in a minute. Everything's anchored to the bottom. When you click on it, you can see the anchor at the bottom. Oh, except that one. It's not, bro. It's not, and now it is, okay? So every time you click on one, it's anchored to the bottom, which is amazing. So check this out. We Alt-P, we got a little HUD here. It's all crooked. You know, we're not trying to be mathematically correct. It's the DP, couple balls, okay? Now the thing is, if I F11, don't exit F11, the screen obviously gets smaller, right? You got a different resolution. But you can tell that the, the, the UMG did a pretty decent job of holding that together. It, it kept it in its place pretty well. Let's let's escape out now and go back to this widget bra and just grab my left nut or grab my left ball. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna anchor it over here to the left. Okay, that's all I'm gonna do, just like that. In fact, I'm gonna make it wrong. I'm gonna I'm gonna anchor it over there. Let's compile and save here, full screen. Everything's fine. But if I press F11 and change resolutions, where's my balls at? You know, I mean, what like what what look? Well, where's my balls at? And so I gotta fix them, and I don't you know I don't like that. So I got an F11 and it's broken. You know what I'm saying? They're all crooked. And, and, and they're crooked, you know, so I don't want that. So the point is, you have got to make sure you're anchoring your things correctly. And you have a lot of options here. There's a lot of, you know, a lot of the options. Just, just check into these. These are all the spots. These are to keep it straight across something. You may have a huge HUD. You may have something that takes up half the screen or all the screen, and you just want to coordinate it all. So, I mean, you know, there are different types of, different types of anchoring options, but the point is, if you want your HUD, to not only work, but work on different resolutions, make sure you are anchoring. Because you might be playing on a 2K monitor, I'm playing on a 4K monitor, and your boy down the road's playing on still 720 because he's old school, or he's just broke, you know, whatever. That's whatever. But the point is, you, you want to make sure the resolution adapts to the television, or the, the UMG adapts to the resolution, or however you want to word that all professionally. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I don't got time. But the point is, guys, thanks for watching UMG number one. I know this was super kind of long and kind of just a bunch of nonsense, but hey, the basics, man. We got to cover it. Make sure you guys understand everything that's going on. But appreciate you watching, man. Hit up the Pride Productions on YouTube. The next tutorial will be out tomorrow, part two. We're going to make a health bar, but we're actually going to function it. We're going to make it function. We're going to add code to it in the player. It's going to be fun. We're going to have it working. You know what I'm talking about? But guys, thanks for watching. Love you. Miss you. Uh, I want to be on you, and hopefully I will soon when this quarantine's over. But yeah, man, hit up the Facebook, hit up us on SoundCloud, Deprived, capital D at the beginning, capital D at the end. I'm getting ready to release the artwork. The new EP comes out May 25th. Get your hands on that Deprived all day. It's going to be real heavy. You know what I'm talking about? I mean, I mean, I mean, heavy, 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 like heavy, heavy.
But the point is, guys, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. We'll have another tutorial tomorrow, a second UMG tutorial. Just want to get the basics covered quickly so we can start messing with the more complicated stuff. You guys know how we do it. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you learned a little something. Deprive Productions all day. UMG, get it done. Let me know if you need some help. Until next time, peace.